only. Hey loves, it's Brianna. Welcome to my fall decor tour for 2018. This is almost like Christmas for me. I absolutely love decorating and sharing the decorations around my home with you. So I hope since this is coming a little bit early that it will give you some inspiration for decorating this autumn and for Halloween. And if you're new here, click that red subscribe button and make sure you're following me on my social channels. We've got a lot of fun stuff coming up and that's sort of where you see it all first. I also may be changing up my posting schedule. Just wanna let everyone know that. So have your bell notifications turned on so you know when I post a new video. And come hang out with me in the comments the first hour after I post. I always stay in the comments so we can chit chat and connect with each other on there. But I cannot wait to show you, I changed up a lot of things around my home from the fall decor tour that I did last year, so I cannot wait for you to see it. And as always, I will link everything in my description box, but if there's something I missed, ask me in the comments and I'll try to get you the link if it is still available. But all right, let's get this fall decor tour started. But as you're watching this video, I would love to know which room or area of my home or the decorations that you like the most. So make sure you comment after you see everything and tell me which one you like the most. But getting started in my spooky foyer area here, Landon requested spooky and he loves spiders. So we had these at our old home actually and I put them on our front porch because we had a big front porch, but I thought they were perfect to hook onto these banisters. And with this white foyer table, I just thought it was a cool contrast to do pretty much all black decorations with the little pops of the orange for Halloween. And all of this came from our local craft store called Pat Catan's. They had a very like black spooky section that I went to town in. Um, and I just got another big black craft pumpkin. But these are very special to me because they're actually from Landon's gender reveal um we found out right around halloween so we did it as like a what's our pumpkin um party so i will use those every year because they're very good memories and then sticking with the traditional spooky orange and black halloween theme i got this spooky banner from target a couple of years ago and then these treat sacks the kids use for trick-or-treating they're from Pottery Barn, and I always love the Pottery Barn stuff because you can get their names on them and make them special. And this trick-or-treat sign was also from the local Pacatan's craft store. And you might have seen this wallflower in my Bath and Body Works haul, but I have the white pumpkin scent because that's my favorite scent, so I love that that's what you smell when you walk into the home, but I love how it's a little spooky haunted house and it glows in the dark. It's a nightlight too. All right, the dining room also has the same spooky theme. What I would like to eventually do in here, I know I hung one of the little fur spiders right there. I thought it looked, again, kind of spooky hanging from the dining room chandelier. And on this table, I found these adorable twinkle lights from Pier 1 that look like little spiders. And there's a ton of different settings, but I thought that this one was the most spooky because it kind of like dims and flickers and at TJ Maxx the other day I found this little monsters live here sign and I thought it was perfect because last year for Halloween you can see the kids were two little monsters so I thought that that was perfect this trick-or-treat sign is from Pat Catan's craft store that's also where I got this big web there's a smaller version of it that's in the foyer so I got this big one and then these pumpkins and this little sparkly black cat, which reminds me we had a black cat growing up named Misha. So this is my little Misha kitty that gets to sit here. Um, but what I want to do that didn't come in yet, I'm going to actually make this room. I feel like because of the colors of it and how it's darker, I'm going to turn this into actually a Harry Potter themed room. So I'd gotten a sorting hat. It just didn't come in, but I wanted kind of the sorting hat to be here by the cat. And I might like move these to somewhere else and do like some Harry Potter books in a trunk and get some other more like wizard decor for this table in here. And then speaking of movies that we love, I'm obsessed with Coco. We're all obsessed with Coco. Me, Adam, and the kids, we watch Coco all the time and sing the songs. So I had to do a Dia 
Dia los Mortos, you can correct, I, I never took Spanish, so I don't know if I'm saying that right, but a Day of the Dead theme in here. And I'm looking for good decorations. I kind of had to do a random hodgepodge of stuff, so I would like to find some more actual Day of the Dead um, decor. But this was just from Party City in their Fiesta section. I got those banners, and then I just chalked the You Make Me Un Poco Loco, because. Landon and I sing that song all of the time. And my chalk writing was so good when I was a teacher. I feel like I'm not as good at it anymore, but I tried. <laughs> and then I found these at our local craft store just to kind of go with the theme. And they also had these little coffins, which I love how it has the actual skeleton on them, but I might have the kiddos paint these and kind of decorate them for themselves. I thought that might be a fun craft. This fun little glitter skull was from Pier 1. So were these tiny ones. So sort of my thinking here was, this is the mom skull. This can be the Presley or Landon skull. Um, same thing with this one. So these three were all from Pier 1. And then this skull was just from the craft store and I figured that can be like the Adam skull, but <laughs> I don't know. That's like so morbid and weird probably, but that's when I get decor sometimes how I think. And from my Bath and Body Works haul, since this is a cocoa themed room, Hot Cocoa and Scream is the candle scent I have in here. And then on this side, I found these, they're really cool. They're like a velour candlestick. And these velvet pumpkins were from Pier 1 and I just loved the color of these. I thought that they were really cool and just go so nicely with the different pops of color but yeah tell me if there's any better day of the dead decor anywhere in other stores because i'm on the hunt i want to make this room really good over the next couple of years down over here i've got my bath and body works same thing like with the skeletons i just love the colors of that and it has the hot cocoa and cream wallflower plug. And then on the piano I just have the blue and pink pumpkin candy baskets and another little skull that I found. And then these really cute, they're like little skulls, um, twinkle lights. Those were also from Pier 1. So I, I went a little crazy on the Pier 1 can, or I went a little crazy on the Pier 1 twinkle lights this year. And here is the kitchen for the fall. I love wine color in here. Obviously I love my wine, you know me and my Apothic, still waiting for a partnership with them. But I love having the pops of wine in the kitchen because you'll also see sneak peek of the family room, it kind of carries over. So I like that it kind of pulls in some of the traditional orange but still has that like glam, like wine and gold color. So I always change up my three tiered stand for every season. So I found at Joann's this garland that has the Merlot and the orange and sort of gold colored acorns and pine cones and popped that into this three tiered stand. And then I had these metallic pumpkins that I believe were from Target and Hobby Lobby, a combination of the two. And I found these really pretty bouquets this year at Joann's that had little white pumpkins in them with the purple and the wine colored leaves and there's some pops of greenery in there too but I thought that those were nice then for in my coffee cups for the three tiered stand. And then this family gathers here sign I got at Joann's last year which I love having the wine and the gold color. And on the fridge and also on our bulletin boards I just got printed a bunch of our fall photos from last year and put those up and it's like crazy how much Presley has changed. Look at what a junk she was there, oh my god. And Landon, he just looks so much littler there. Over here, I have chalked a little It's Fall, y'all, and I have the white pumpkin candle, which this is by far my favorite scent of the season from Bath and Body Works. And this little pumpkin I picked up from Joann's. And that's also where I got then this new dish towel. I love that it had the gray gingham and then the gather together in the wine color that I have in here. So I thought that just flowed really nicely with the decor I already have. And these candle holders I got years ago from Bath & Body Works, but I know that they have them every single year. But I put the new pumpkin pecan waffle scent in that one because I thought that was perfect for it. In the kitchen, especially like weekend mornings, I love that scent. Um, and I didn't do too much with my kitchen area. I just like to be able to clean really quickly. Even though I love the summer decor, it made cleaning this area just a little more time. But on September 4th, here's a preview. There is pumpkin Mrs. Myers. 
there's a mom Mrs. Myers and an apple cider Mrs. Myers scent for the fall and it's gonna be a really good deal guys that will be the caddy it's the multi-surface spray the dish soap and the hand soap and a uh, scrubber brush so on September 4th make sure you check back to my channel or on my social media I'll have the links on Instagram as well in case you want to get that deal but the pumpkin is a super creamy nutmeg sort of a smell really nice for fall right now i've been cleaning everything with the mum because it's a very spicy floral it sort of reminds me of a fall version of the peony if you tried the peony in the spring it's a really good one and i just love the color for like in the kitchen area just because that's the color i have out right now so i have the dish soap and hand soap out already and then this apple cider scent i love it too because it's very crisp and clean smelling i know i'll definitely be using that one i think a lot in the kitchen um, this one's good for like kitchen, bathrooms, bedrooms, and this one honestly I would love for like all over the house, but I think in particular like the family room and the dining room and just the areas that are that very like traditional fall decor. That would go really nicely. But yeah, so got my fall scents out for cleaning right now. This little home sign I got at Joann's last year. And I picked up these pretty roses from the grocery store earlier, and that's also where I got this purple vase but I like it for all of the purple colors in here to go with my wreath. And same thing on this Bolton board. I just printed out fall pictures of us. Oh my God, she's so little there and those boots. Oh my God, I'm so sad she can't wear those Ugg boots anymore. That was like the cutest. Ah, oh, my little pumpkin. And then on my little desk area in here, I just got these purple flowers from the grocery store today too for my little to-do list work area. And to the family room, this is where I have all of the pops of wine. These are some new pillows that I got from Target and the plaid ones were from Joann's last year and they kind of coordinate with that blanket. And then some more of the velvet and just like mixing it in with the fur so everything is really cozy for fall. And just added some creamy white pumpkins up here with our family photos. This jar was from Joann's and I just put some of that wheat in there so that it's very fall looking. Oh, I'm sorry, we always have weird lighting in here because of the skylights, but just more creamy pumpkins with my two little pumpkins pictures. And our mantle clock is broken. I always get asked that, it's broken. I need to fix it. It was from Kirkland's though. And then I just got more of these craft white pumpkins and put them on these candle holders that are like a gold mercury glass just to have all of the different cream colors. And I love this, my friend Kimber has her own business and she made all of these books for us. But I love it to just have something really personalized on our mantle like that. And these fall gold glitter letters are from Hobby Lobby and I just strung them on clear string and hot glued them <laughs> to this. And I found these wine colored leaves last year at Joann's and I just used gold glitter clothes pins to clip them on there to make a little garland for the mantle in the fall. And just have more of the creamy craft pumpkins at the bottom of the mantle. So that is what it looks like. And all of those candles were from Joann's last year and I just found this like cute fall plate and some glittery pine cones to scatter around them. And you probably saw this in my fall Bath and Body Works haul as well, but I love these magnetic candle toppers. And in here I have the caramel apple scent. It's really, it smells so good because I actually have it. There's a wallflower plug in over here. Don't mind the colorful toys. But I love this gold leaf wallflower plug in that they had this year and it has the caramel apple wallflower. So it smells so good in here. And this isn't like crazy decorated, but in our guest bathroom or the powder room on the first floor, I just put out some of this marshmallow pumpkin latte and the hand cream in the same scent for any guests to use. And my scent in here is the almond blossom. I love this one. So I have the candle and one of those like magnetic candle toppers. I love that. And I have it in the wallflower as well. And in the kiddos bathroom, I have the ghoul friend soap. 
I love the puns, especially this one that says, which please. <laughs> and then in me and my husband's bathroom, I have the coconut pumpkin latte hand soap. And the scent I started to use first is this whipped vanilla and spice. It is like very close to the vanilla bean Noel Christmas scent as far as rankings for me. That's my all time favorite, but this one's really good. And I set this little pumpkin here in our bedroom. But this is our new bed. We upgraded to a king size bed. So we got the same exact frame because we didn't want to have to change up our furniture. Um, but we got a king size bed and we got a new mattress. So got new bedding for it. And I'm just loving the very neutral cream white because I feel like now I can incorporate some more colors in it for the season if I want to. But I decided to just keep it very chic and simple for this fall and just kind of added in those sparkly gold and cream pumpkins on the bedside tables there with the twinkly lights. And all of the bedding, sheets, and pillows I got at Target and actually had some of these pillows on our couch downstairs during the summer but I decided I can always change those out. I love changing out pillows anyways for the season, but I just really liked it with the gold and found these new like velvet cream ones and then this gold metallic lumbar pillow. So I wanted to keep it simple and this way I can add in red at Christmas time or blushes in the spring like I did this last year and keep everything simple in here. Um, and these house shoes, I get questions about them all the time. They are my all time favorite house shoes from UGG and I feel like those will carry into fall very nicely as well. We still haven't rehung that painting by the way guys. Um, we have a lot on the honey to do list and my husband is still injured. Um, but on my little dressing table here, I have a picture from one of our very first dates but I just added some more of the glittery pumpkins and I brought up this pumpkin vanilla candle. It is so good. So I'm excited to light that in here for fall. I almost forgot. I got these little sprigs from Joann's this year to kind of go again with like the purples and the oranges. Cause I'd gotten this, it was new for summertime from Joann's and, and I decided it's going to kind of be like my three tiered stand where I will change out the jars with something to season also. I thought that that was pretty for fall to kind of tie in with all the colors in that room. But go outside. A lot hasn't changed out here since the summer house tour, but I did get a couple new things. So I got those little planters that I set out over there and I did end up getting some pillows, but clearly these haven't gotten hung yet either because my honey is still in recovery, but I went with the blue pillows. I think I asked everyone your opinion and there was overwhelmingly in the comments a support for blue pillows. So I thought the leopard were kind of fun in my personality and then I feel like for whatever reason these reminded me of my husband's personality. So that is what I went with for out here. But I will have this patio furniture linked and again like any of our other furniture and decor that is available I will have linked down in the comments. Did you hear those leaves crunching? Guys, I know it's like not fall yet, but that just makes me feel like it is fall. But I cannot wait for our rug to actually get in. It's still back ordered, so it should be delivered any day according to the email updates that I've gotten. But yeah, I will share a final <laughs> reveal of it probably in a vlog coming up on our channel. All right, I'm ending the tour in my Coco room. I think this is my favorite this year. I'm just so obsessed with the movie and all of the songs from that movie. I love it so much. Um, and I know that the kids, they just love coming in here now that they saw this this morning. It's the first morning they saw it and they just loved it. So it made my mom heart so happy. But again, make sure you subscribe if you are new. We'll have a bunch of fun fall videos and family vlogs coming up that I don't want you to miss. And of course, there will be a Christmas holiday decor tour. I know I'm getting really ahead of myself, but if you like these decor kind of videos, there will definitely be that to look forward to too. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment what your favorite area of the home was, the decor that you liked the most, and I will see you in my next video. Bye loves.